Hello again, everyone, and welcome back again for another video. Uh, as you can see, we've got another computer build that we're doing today. This is the one that I've been waiting on for quite a while. This is my daughter's case. Uh, just got this back from the body shop uh, a couple days ago, and I got it reassembled. This is a Fantex P500A. Uh, as you can see, the case is completely pink. Let me kind of change my light a little bit here. I guess we can get a better look at this. Let you have a little glimpse of this before we get going here with the build. Uh, just to kind of show you this. Um, this. This was one of those things that, you know, you've seen me paint cases a lot on my channel. But this one I actually took to get professionally done because there was a lot of complexities involved in this that... Uh, was just a little bit beyond me and I'll show you that let me open up the door here on this uh, just to kind of show you a couple, uh, a couple things here uh, for one thing it's it's this side here and this side here it's pink so that was a lot of masking uh, I had this painted pink uh, some custom lettering down there a little bit of a mix uh, error there but that's okay that's going to get covered up it's nothing i'm going to hold against them it's a hell of a lot better than i could do now this glass right here now this is interesting this is also painted um now you know normally you can't paint glass but what they did is they put a special uh chemical etching on this so that you can paint on the glass and uh they color match the glass uh border to go with the rest of the case in here uh, as you can see it says you know toadette 2 on it there uh, that's kind of the theme of this is the toadette case um, if you've seen other videos on my channel and seen uh, my daughter's case that I did for her a while back it uh, I did that I did the painting on that one myself that one's in a cooler master master box NR 400 um, there's kind of a couple reasons we decided to uh, go with the uh, Fantex case here. Um, one of those being is that you can actually get two computers in here if you want. And one of the things that we are planning to do, not in this build, but maybe later on in the summer, maybe toward the fall, I don't know. We have to piece together. Um, I want to do a Hackintosh up on top. But um, in the meantime, we are going to do a computer build in here. Uh, with some other stuff to give her an upgrade. Uh, we're pretty much uh, upgrading everything from her other tower. Now, you know, I love it when my kids do upgrades um, because uh, I don't pay for them, for one thing. You know, when the, when the kids do them, they, they pay for it with their own money that they've earned from their jobs and that they've saved, which is awesome. And... Uh, a nice benefit of that is that when uh, I tear their old stuff out, the kids just let me have that, and then I'll actually use those parts, and I'll usually flip them, uh, maybe sell them to real cheap to people that can't afford computers and stuff. It all depends. Um, what they both got in their computers now, uh, it's pretty good stuff. I don't know if I'm going to use those for... Uh, uh, run-of-the-mill basic computers to sell but uh, I will use those for other builds on my channel that's for sure I can use that for content so that's awesome so I'll have some stuff to do with that but uh, the new stuff we're putting in here is pretty nice and uh, we're kind of following this uh, pink and white theme here maybe a little bit of red going on here and and what have you and we're gonna do some really really cool uh, RGB stuff in here um, of course, in Kayla's old case, she was using the uh, Corsair stuff. Uh, we're going to continue that. We're going to use Corsair in here. We're going to use a different type of Corsair stuff in this build. Uh, she was also using Leon Lee Strimers in hers. I think we're going to do something different. Um, we're going to do all kinds of stuff. But I'll tell you what, let me get this case and set it off to the sides because it's huge. It's massive and it's taking up all this room. Um, let's get out the motherboard and, uh, I'm gonna shut up and let's start this build. So we'll see you here in just a sec. 
Okay, so let's get started with the stuff that's going to go into this build here, starting with the motherboard. I, you know, actually, before I do that, i got to show you guys something real quick before we continue on here. Check this out. This is actually, let's see if I can maybe get a little better light on it here. Um, my daughter's uh, artwork that we had printed up on vinyl. Um, you'll see some really, really nice detail in the, in that. Um, may, I don't know if it's, it's showing up on the camera that well. But uh, yeah, Kayla did all that in Photoshop. She's been playing around with Photoshop for years. She said this was based on some kind of uh, Mario and Princess uh, like promo that they had like for the old system or something. But she said that this is like an updated version with Toadette and uh, Bowser Jr., which are her two favorite characters. And uh, she threw a Nintendo Switch in there. So this is some uh, really, really nice uh, artwork right there from my daughter. So, yeah, so part of this build is, uh, you know, of course, Kayla's own uh, touch and Kayla's own artwork being implemented into it so that's pretty cool but anyways <clears throat> back down to this um the motherboard we're using actually is the zaku 2 uh for no other reason than it's red and it's cool looking um it's gonna kind of match our theme pretty well kayla's not into the whole gundam stuff or anything like that we just went with this because of the red uh, tones in there, the anodized red, which is really, really neat. I suppose there were some other ones we could have went with, but uh, that's what we went with. Anyways, we'll get to the other stuff that it's going to get tossed in here. we got a Ryzen 5 5600X that we're putting in here for her. She did have a 2600X, so she's going to bump up to a 5600. And the main thing with Kayla is she needs some storage. Um, that's kind of where the focus is going to be is her storage. So, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> for storage, her main storage is going to be a two terabyte uh, Samsung 980 Pro uh, for her main storage. And for her secondary storage, she's using a two terabyte 970 Evo Plus. Um, yeah, that's, uh, pretty prime stuff right there. Um, that, that, that's what, like I said, the nice thing about doing my kids is, uh, th they have tastes that, uh, it kind of exceed mine sometime. And, and, uh, Kayla's kind of a, a, a nerd too. She's not like into computers like I am, but she is more into the art and, and, and things like that. And, and she knows what she likes. She knows what she needs. Anyways, moving right along here, um, I do have an add-in card that I'm going to put in here to to actually use those, uh, that USB-C port that's up front there. But anyways, um, our memory, we're using some G-Skill Trident Z Royals. We're using some of the uh, silver stuff today. Um, she actually has some silver right now. She's got two modules in her current... PC of this. She's got like some, what is it, PC 3200 uh, Trident Z in her other computer. Uh, we got a four module set and she's, this is actually 32 gigs at uh, 3600 speed. So a little bump up there in her speed on her memory as well uh is the processor so that's that's part of the upgrade and i guess i can show you a little bit of uh the rgb well no we got this too this is a link up cable it's a white one um this is for the vertical mounted gpu because we're actually going to do a vertical mount in here uh and for the rgb today I'm going to be showing you some stuff with the Corsair IQ Commander Core XT. This one's a little bit different from the Commander uh, Pro, which is what she's currently using in her computer upstairs. Um, we're going to switch to this version of the Corsair product, and we have got a lot of RGB to do today. Uh, <laughs> a lot of RGB. <laughs> Oh my, never-ending RGB. Um, you know, I always make enough that's going to make you puke. This one's going to make you puke, pass out, get up, puke again, 
but uh, it's going to be cool. It's going to be pink and white and red. It's going to be Toadette themed. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put all the stuff uh, that I need to get onto this board onto the board. And then we'll cut to the next scene here. And I'll show you guys something else in this uh, Rainbow Puke Toadette Tower 2. See you in just a sec. Okay, I got everything on the board now, and I'm about ready to put the board in, but I wanted to show you this before I do that. Um, this is an RGB backplate that you're seeing here. This is a micro ATX sized one, since we are using a micro ATX board. You can get this, of course, in ITX and ATX. Uh, it's good for uh, older boards, too, if, if uh, you want to jazz up your current PC. And, uh, I, but I, I really wouldn't recommend using one unless you've got like a white background or a pretty bright background in general. They don't look so good in the black cases. Um, so I don't really use them that often in black cases, but I do use them in the white ones, especially on motherboards like the Zaku that don't have the, uh, RGB around the perimeter like some of the other more, uh, uh, higher tier boards would have but uh, yeah that's just an easy way to replace the RGB there it's really easy to do as you can see it's sitting right in there it goes it's got the holes cut out uh, for where your motherboard's gonna go your motherboard's just gonna sit right on over it so and it actually if you think about it it kind of protects the board a little bit uh, when you're going in there because you got like kind of like this plastic boundary now that the board is touching onto um, instead of, you know, banging on the metal. So, a yeah. L- little softer uh, impact on it when you're putting the board in. That and the board slides right in. Real easy. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put the motherboard back in, and then I will blab some more. See you in just a sec. Okay, so I've progressed a little more, as you can see, and I just kind of want to point a couple things out of what's going on here. Um, right here, where it says Golden Field, what this is, is a uh, M.2 uh, cover, RGB cover, for that Samsung drive, since, you know, we didn't have a, uh, like, XPG, they make them, but uh, we're using Samsung, so we had to use a cover on this if we wanted to get some RGB effects on there, gotta have our RGBs, and right here, we've got a USB 3.2 add-in card for this little jack right here now <clears throat> i actually had to order a little extension thing here they don't give you it quite long enough and even if it did, did go in there i don't want it sticking out here because it's going to cross over there and you'll see it there so what i did is i ordered a right angle uh thing for it and a little seven inch extension off of amazon that i'm going to put in here uh, it's it's kind of important that I do that because, you know, we're, we're going to have our vertical mounted GPU coming through here, of course, with the, uh, what did I do with it? It's around here somewhere. Uh, it's in the bag, I think. Here it is. The vertical uh, GPU cable right here. As you can see, it's got these little gaps in it, so I'll be able to actually snake through, just, you know, squeak it on by. And uh, with a little right angle, uh, get that hooked up right in there. And I also ordered another right angle for right here, too, just so that when the USB uh, 3.0 comes in right there, it gives it kind of a cleaner look. Um, and then what else is there to note? Uh, nothing at the moment. Oh, um, now Kayla's old computer... Uh, of course, I used an ITX board, and, and we stepped up to a micro ATX board. Um, we actually kind of wanted to do that. It was I didn't know if I wanted to go micro ATX or ATX. Uh, basically, because I knew I was going to be doing some add-in stuff to it besides this. Now, I would have preferred a board that would have had this on board, uh, but, you know, it is what it is. But... Really, what I need is this extra slot right here because what we're going to do is we're going to add a uh, capture card for here for her. Uh, Kayla, of course, like I said, is is a uh, computer nerd like her dad, but she's more into artistic stuff like drawing and uh, 
video production and streaming and shit like that. So that's actually what we're going to do here is we're going to put a nice built-in capture card for her to uh, help her along when she does her uh, Discord and whatever streaming she does and whatever the hell she is she does. I don't know. Anyways, <clears throat> so... Yeah, that's that for that. Let me uh, progress a little more. I don't know where I'm going to go next. i got to, of course, wait a couple days for those other things to come in to do that. So I'm, I'm kind of waiting on the memory to put that in just because that stuff is, uh, you know, you, you put your fingerprints on it, it gets everywhere. And so you got to peel that stuff off. I'm going to do that right at the last. That way I can pop them in. I can put my gloves on when I do that. But... Uh, yeah, uh, AIO, I guess, is is coming up now. The AIO, um, Kayla liked my mom's AIO. If you look at that video on here, you'll find my mom's build a couple videos back. Um, and so that's actually the AIO that we're using here is that pink flow. the pink. Um, <laughs> so it's actually kind of a downgrade from what she currently has right now she's got the republic of gamers uh you know ryo whatever 240 which has got like the little screen on it so she's actually downgrading because she just kind of likes the effects and the cool look of the uh pink flow so i'm like you know whatever you know it's 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 her money she paid for it it's what she wants so um that's the al we're gonna go with here i don't know why she didn't keep the uh rog but you know, that, that's her choice. But um, so I might put that in next. Might start with some of the fans. Um, like I said, the the goal on this later on is to put a second computer up on top here. So I don't think I'm going to put the water cooling up here. Probably going to put it up front. Um yeah, and since the pink flows a 240, see, it, it, it it's kind of annoying because I wanted to do actually three uh, 140s up front because I know this case will do three 140s. But the pink flow is, of course, you know, a 240 rad, so it's, you know, two, 120s. So I'll actually have to go 120s on here instead. Unless I can get it up on top, but I, I just, not with this, I don't know. I don't know. I think I think we're going to mount it up front. Uh, I'm an indecisive idiot anyways. But uh, let me cut this scene here, guys. I'm going to work on this a little bit more, and we will come back. Okay, I got the AIO installed, and I got the fans installed. As you can see, we are using Corsair QL120s over here on this side. I got three up front, two in the back, and some QL140s up on top. I got two over there and one QL140 in the back there for a total of eight fans. Um, and as I had mentioned, we're going to be using the uh, little heart thing in here on the uh, pink flow. Ooh, set that there. Careful. Now, um, on our old computer... Of course, we use the Leon Lee Strimers in that, and those are pretty cool, but we wanted to, uh, of course, you know, be a little cooler, so this time around, uh, we got the Strimer Pluses going on. Now, what these are, this is the 8-pin uh, GPU extension Strimer Pluses. Um, these are fucking expensive. <laughs> And I hate that they're expensive, but they look cool as shit. And uh, that, that kind of bugged me. So I reached out to today's sponsor. And I said, man, can you help me out here? Because, you know, these things are, like, expensive. And I need some streamers. And they said, sure, we got something for you here. So today's sponsor, Airgo, sent me over some of these. Some addressable RGB PSU cables. Um, I tried these out a while back. And I loved them so much. I, I had commented to them about it. Uh, and I had asked them if they, would uh, you know, send me some. And then, of course, they said, yeah, sure, no problem. And uh, that's what we're going to put in today's build because Kayla actually had uh, seen these. Now, I haven't shown these yet, but um, I actually had filmed these in another video that's actually going to come up later after this one, if that timeline makes sense. But <clears throat> anyways... Uh, I had a little bit of issue with them then, and I had went back and forth with Airgo. But anyways, blah, blah, blah. Uh, these are cool. And uh, Kayla saw them, and she thought they were cool. And I was like, yeah, we are 
totally going to use these in your build. Because uh, if you like the Leon Lee Strymer Pluses, but can't afford the Strymer Pluses, then the Air Goo is a uh, great alternative here. And you're going to see that coming up in this build. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, so <laughs> getting back to this, we can see the AIO. You can see it's got like an anodized uh, pink going on right here. And the cool thing about the QL uh, series fans from Corsair, <clears throat> excuse me, is you get it on the uh, front and the back with the RGB. So this has got, what was it, like 32 or something like that? I, I don't remember, but uh, yeah. So <laughs> we've got a lot of RGB going on here and... Uh, lot more to go but let me cut this scene and uh, mess with this a little bit more and then we'll come right back okay some progress has been made uh, as you can see I've got the video card in now let me zoom in a little bit there so you can see that uh, this is uh, Asus Republica Gamers RTX 3050 in here now at first we weren't <clears throat> gonna upgrade her video card she's got a GTX 1660 and you might think it's silly to upgrade to an RTX 3050. It's like, well, that's not much of a change, you know, but why do that? The main reason for that is actually the uh, outputs here on the graphics card. As you can see, it's got two HDMI and three uh, DisplayPort uh, outputs on it. So... Kayla is actually a multi-monitor user. She actually uses three of them right now. This actually gives her a little bit more potential to run some more stuff because, like I said, she does video stuff. Uh, it's easier to have set, uh, multiple monitors. You know, those of us that have multiple, you know, we can tell you. I mean, if you look at my office here, I've got, you know, five of them there <laughs> that you'll see. But uh, anyways, so... Also on the back of this, ooh, I don't want to move this too much here. Uh, I get the light over here a little bit. You can see it. Uh, this is her uh, capture card. It's got a uh, input on there, and it's got a loopback output so that she could actually run this to another monitor. So all told, if she wants, she has the potential of running six screens on this thing, which is just insane. But anyways, she's got, you know, microphone in. Uh, output what have you on there as well um, you can see the red uh, going on uh, with the thumb screws on there uh, I kind of wanted to match the red on the the Zaku board a little bit there didn't want to deviate down there uh, one thing you'll notice down here is the power supply it's got a uh, chrome vinyl wrap on it um, Normally, this is what I do is I'll put RGB strips like this in there and then tuck them away and you don't see them. But in this case, you can see it because of this mirroring effect that's going on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, going to change this to a uh, different type of RGB strip because I still want to fill that in. But uh, And then I'm also going to do the same right over in here where the hard drive cage is because she still has that other hard drive. I'm not going to throw that out. That's still got data on there. We're going to throw that in there for her so she'll actually have, uh, I think that's either one or two terabytes on that one too. And so she'll have the four terabytes here. She's going to have a lot of storage. That's <laughs> for damn sure. All right. So, uh, yeah. We're looking good on this end here. Um, everything is plugged in. I just got to plug in the power supply cables. And I need to do the RGB. Now, I want to show you guys the RGB because this is kind of a wild setup here. Um, just looking at it from the front, you can see there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, as I had mentioned earlier, I'm using the IQ Commander Core XT. That's one of the things I'm using. But um, that's actually not going to have enough oomph in it to carry all the RGB. So let me cut the scene here, um, tie up some loose ends here on this end, and then we'll flip it around to the back and we'll talk about that stuff. So we'll see you here in just a second, guys. Okay, to kind of give you a look at this before I clean up the wiring mess here and get this closed up and upstairs to Kayla... 
Uh, I'll let you have a look at how it all wires up. I know it doesn't make any sense just looking at this jumbled mess, but uh, to kind of explain it to you, we've got eight fans total. We've got five on the inside perimeter, three on the outside. Okay, so uh, on this controller here with the uh, Core XT, I'm using um, five of the outputs here to run the fans on the inner side here and this one down here so we got two fans up here one right there one back there and uh, well okay i'm sorry I'm, uh, two up here two up there that's four five and then one right down here is six okay there we go six fans here <laughs> my brain's twisted six fans are running there the other two fans in the front are connected up on top here uh, and slip on through and are connected to the CPU header uh, for PWM. So the two headers up on top control the water pump uh, fans. And then the water pump itself, of course, is plugged into the motherboard. So anyways, onto the RGB. <clears throat> the RGB, though, is a little bit different. Um, we got a lot of RGB going on in here. So on this one... Um, I've got the six RGB are actually controlling the inner ones here and then the extra RGB controller here that comes out, where is it at here, where it says RGB, which is like a three pin. I have this going into a pirate dog tech splitter, which feeds, <coughs> excuse me, into the Fantex, uh, controller which then splits off um, onto the, all the other RGB stuff. The front RGB fans are being controlled by this uh, lighting uh, node XT, or whatever, the little mini one, the lighting node right here that uh, is on there. So, yeah, that's how we're controlling all eight of the fans plus all of the RGB in here. And uh, like I said, a lot of RGB. There's a lot of splitters going on here. Like I said, this is a mess right now. Now what I got to do is uh, organize all my wires and tie strap them down and tie them down with this and what have you. Get the back on. Then we'll get this upstairs set up and we'll let Kayla get it set up. And then we'll finish this video up with the final reveal. And we'll do the reveal in Kayla's room. So you have a look at another cool effect that you're going to see that's going to finish this off. That's going to make this... Uh, Toadette 2, pretty badass. So we'll see you here in just a sec. Okay, so now we are in Kayla's room and we're doing her initial boot on her computer and her screen is booted up. So let's go ahead and take a look at this in the uh, light right now. Um, you can see the pink going on all around the case there. You can see all the RGB. Um, down here, you can actually see a mirror effect let me actually scoot her oops mouse pad over a little bit so you can kind of see that a little more uh this is really really cool so let's get more into that kayla go ahead and shut off the lights okay so we got the lights off let me go ahead and have a seat here and we'll talk about this <laughs> uh wild looking rgb setup here uh starting from bottom to top i guess if we look down here, we see a little Bowser Jr. sticker. And this actually isn't visible unless you're actually looking at it from the mirrored side on the bottom here. Uh, like I said, this is all mirrored here. What we did is we laid some vinyl wrap, some chrome vinyl wrap down here. And there's actually some RGB underneath. You can see it underneath there, under the case that actually shines out because of that uh, chroming effect we did. Now the power supply, you can see I did a chroming effect on there. You can see the RGB strip there. There's some chrome down here on the uh, hard drive cage. That's it down there, that hard drive caddy. Uh, <laughs> check out that RGB. Let me open this door. Ugh, dark, I know this is probably kind of blurring here a little bit. Um. This right here on the GPU, this is a Leon Lee Strymer. And back there is the Ergu one. Now, do you see the difference in them? 
Sorry if it's, it's not focusing. But you can see the differences in, them and in the way that they uh, displace the light. The air goo one really, really has some real cool effects going on. There's some green and, and uh, pink that you see going on here. While this one, the uh, Leon Lee is also doing a green and pink, but it's not as colorful as the air goo ones are. So pretty neat. That's why I like these air goo ones a little bit better. Um, otherwise, uh, Kalo's got like a green and pink theme going all the way around on this. Uh, got it going on on her video card, on her uh, on her uh, AIO, on her SSD right there, everything. Uh, except her memory, of course. She can change that if she wants. But, yeah, so we got a strip going here across this, strip going around here like that. I mean, gosh, we have got so much RGB. Let's, let's take a look at this from around front here. And... Uh, you can see her RGB effects going on there. And again, since this desk has been all chromed out, looking down at this desk, you almost look like you're looking at two computers. That's just insane. That's just crazy sweet on the RGB. I mean, you want to talk about doubling your RGB. I mean, what other way to do it but to uh, mirror your RGB. And uh, yeah, that's the effect we did here on uh, Kayla's setup. Uh, scooting over here in the dark, I guess, you can see a little bit more of her setup. You can see her, oops, scoot this back to where it was, her mouse pad, which is the Corsair Polaris uh, mouse pad. She's got a Corsair mouse, which is also, uh, of course, synchronized with that. Corsair keyboard. Uh, this is her drawing tablet. It's like a 16-inch Huion, I think it is. I can't remember what she has. But then she's got two 27-inch monitors there. Uh, like I said, she has the potential here of doing, you know, five or six outputs on the back of that uh, case here. Plus, she's got, you know, the input there for her uh, Nintendo Switch and for her streaming and 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 what have you. But uh, that's going to be it for this uh build guys um i'll see you in the next one the next one's actually going to be a garbage can no i'm just kidding next one's actually going to be a hackintosh um but uh i'll see you all in the next build uh whenever i get done filming that i'm actually i have a lot of the filming done already but uh i'll talk to you later guys bye bye